Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we share a demo review of the new New X Trident. First of all we will hear the unit in action with the demo song, then we will describe the unit in details sharing all its main features and characteristics then we will hear more sounds in a dedicated section of this video and finally i will give you my two cents so i hope you enjoy and please subscribe and ring the bell as it would really help me to make more videos like this let's start with the demo song Let's describe the unit. First of all, the Trident offers a very interesting design as it merges digital customizability with analog and physical controls in order to offer a tactile experience similar to the one we have using our beloved analog pedals or amps. Furthermore, New X has updated their amp modeling technology with algorithms that are twice as complex than previous versions. This is possible also thanks to a new hardware platform with two DSPs, one to handle all the effects and the other one specifically designed to handle the AMP modeling algorithms. The physical layout, as I said, is pretty interesting. It has a section dedicated to the delay and reverb with dedicated physical knobs, 
a section dedicated to the modulation effects, and then we have the classical amp controls at our disposal, with gain, level, bass, middle, treble and presence. We have another important control tactically located on the back of the unit to be used to change the overall volume. Furthermore, we have 10 foot switches, which are pretty useful in live situations, and an LCD screen, where is it? Here, which is small but designed to leave space for all the physical controls aforementioned and could be used in order to assess specific functions, like the order of the effects that you can change as you want using the visual help of the screen. The unit offers 27 amps with some interesting features, like the possibility to mimic high and low inputs or to patch inputs with cable jumping, very useful for instance for the plexi simulation, etc. It also offers 27 caps and 4 microphones and you can load your IRs at up to 1024 sample points. The unit offers a 10 blocks effect chain, amp, cab and external effect loop included, where you can place each effect in whatever order you want, but you cannot replicate the same effect many times. You also have the possibility to decide whether to use the delays and reverbs in parallel or in series, which is a pretty nice addition and pretty unique. Let's check out the effects. We have two noise suppressors, seven special effects with compressors, wah and harmonizers, seven distortions, two EQs, an effect loop, 11 modulation effects, three delays, and four reverbs. At least this is the list of effects available so far, but please remember that the platform can evolve with future firmware upgrades. The latency I've measured is around 2 milliseconds and it is fixed. I mean, it does not change if you activate or deactivate effects. This confirmed the unit to be among the best ones in terms of latency. If you want more info about the latency, you can check out the video in the card above. It includes a 30 seconds looper that you can place in pre or post with dedicated foot switches to control it. It can serve as a 2x2 audio interface thanks to the USB-C port. In terms of I.O., it has a guitar input, an effect loop, an input for an external pedal, an aux in, balanced and unbalanced stereo outputs, a phone out and MIDI connectivity via mini jacks. The conversion cable from mini jacks to standard MIDI ports are included in the box. It runs at 9 volts and 3030 milliamperes. The dimensions are the one shown in the screen and it weighs 1.65 kilos. Furthermore, the Trident uses a one-piece die-cast aluminum case, which should guarantee a long longevity to the unit, even using it many times live. You may have noticed that uh, it is already in some stores. I asked NewX and they told me that. Originally, we had planned to release the product on May 26, 2023. However, due to several delays in the mass production process, we have decided to take a more flexible approach and not set a specific release date. For our European customers, the new X Trident will be available for purchase in approximately 40-50 days. The estimated street price is around 450 euros. In my opinion, this is the right decision. I mean, when you release a unit, it is gonna be in the market for several years. Therefore, it is better to wait until everything is perfect, than rush into production. I think this approach also testifies how much NUX takes care about this unit, which, as I said, also introduces the new modeling algorithms with the TCAC 4K AMP algorithms. Let's now hear some more sounds.
consideration CR and please notice that the new X has sent me this unit for free but they didn't pay me for this video and they didn't ask me to say anything therefore I'm free to tell you whatever I want let's start from the pros first of all the sound I have to say that as soon as I plugged my guitar in the trident I instantaneously noticed an improvement in the sound compared to the previous new X units I have to do some more detailed tests to be sure that this is not just an impression but for me the biggest improvement in terms of sound is that it is more easy to find the right tone of course you have uh, all the physical controls at your disposal that let you uh, use the unit in a more natural and enjoyable way but also using the computer app for me it was easier to tune the tone as I wanted and I think this is a direct consequence of the new and improved modeling algorithms the second pro are all the physical controls available and the overall easiness of use of the unit I think it has a very clever design and you can fully control the unit with the computer app or you can use the physical controls even the more hidden functions are pretty intuitive like for instance uh, if you need to change the order of the effects uh, you have to do it using the screen and the knobs in a pretty natural way in my opinion the other pro I would mention is that uh, uh, this unit is very compact but still powerful and well built having a full metal chassis I mean it does not feel cheap at all lastly I would mention the foot switches with the low row dedicated to the four presets and a booster and the upper row with which you can activate or deactivate the effect blocks in your presets this is a design that fits well with the way I play and perform in terms of cons I would mention just three things the first one is that I miss a ping pong delay and generally speaking there are just three delays at our disposal this is an area where I think NUX could improve with the future firmware upgrades the second cons is that I would have preferred a stereo effect loop even to overcome the missing aforementioned ping pong delay with the external effects lastly it would have been nice to have more than two USB channels while recording in order to be able to record at the same time the DI guitar sound and the stereo processed signal to easily reamp later if needed all in all I think NUX has put a lot of effort in designing and building this unit you can notice it from the attention to details like the full paper user manual or the very solid chassis or the new and improved modeling algorithms etc it is targeted for those of us who want not only good tones but the tactile experience provided by our beloved amps and analog pedals to using all these knobs with this in mind I think the mix came out with a pretty original unit that merges very well the tactile experience provided by all the analog knobs with the convenience of the digital controllability in fact we have the computer app at our disposal if we want to set up the unit with our computer we have direct access to four presets with the lower foot switches and to the effect blocks with the upper ones which is very clever for some function you have to use the digital screen for instance if you want to change the order of the effect block but the way you have to do it is pretty intuitive and I was able to access more hidden functions even without reading the user manual it is of course priced higher compared to the other new X unit 
at 450 euros, but for what it offers and the way it offers what it offers, I think the price is right. The only unit that uh, I can think about and that can rival the new X in terms of design and functionality is the Boss ME series, but this is a topic for another video. Please let me know your opinions about this unit in the comment section below, as I really think that all your comments and suggestions enhance the values of these videos and together we can help other guitarists to make the right purchase according to their needs. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.